Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. Guess who didn't buy any meme coins and is now happy he didn't? This guy, this posted by Genie at Reborn13. And yeah, I mean, the entire crypto market saw a dump, but uh, meme coins in particular uh, saw a huge loss. So this is Dogecoin on the hourly. And uh, I know you guys know uh, Elon Musk tweeted this out just yesterday around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the whole Tesla suspending Bitcoin tweet. Uh, we're going to get to that in a second. Uh, as you guys can see down here, 6 p.m., uh, approximately 6 p.m. was the time the tweet was published. And this is Dogecoin on the hourly. Uh, this is 6 p.m. on the hourly chart. And uh, right now we can see Dogecoin is down almost 18%, 17.5%. I've got the SHIB SHIB chart up here as well. Uh, and as you guys can see from yesterday, I'll take it from 6 p.m. This is on the hourly. Uh, this coin is down almost 27%. Here we got XRP and um, XRP not down as much. XRP down about 10.72%. And finally, Bitcoin on the hourly, guys. Uh, Bitcoin from that 6 p.m. time that tweet was published by Elon Musk. Uh, Bitcoin is down about 10.87%. So you guys can see the meme coins taking the brunt of the hit. And, um, you know, I feel the same way. Don't fall for it. I mean, these coins pump hard, but they can fall just as hard. And this is exactly what we're seeing right now in the crypto space. So let's take a broad look at the carnage market cap uh, of the entire cryptocurrency market as at about $2.1 trillion uh, in Bitcoin dominance at 42.3%. Uh, Bitcoin right now trading at about 48,700. Ethereum trading at about 3,650. Binance coin down to $575. Uh, Cardano is actually up 5.88%, trading at $1.86. Uh, Dogecoin down 21%. And XRP guys trading at $1.24, down 14.14%. So in and around the same losses that we're seeing for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance coin, etc. Um, that is average for this pullback. Of course, uh, this was the tweet that caused it all, guys. This is from Elon Musk. Tesla has suspended vehicle purchases using Bitcoin. We are concerned about rapidly increasing use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining and transactions, especially coal, which has the worst emissions of any fuel. Cryptocurrency is a good idea on many levels, and we believe it has a promising future, but this cannot come at great cost to the environment. Tesla will not be selling any Bitcoin and we intend to use it for transactions as soon as mining transitions to more sustainable energy. We are also looking at other cryptocurrencies that use less than 1% of Bitcoin's energy per transaction. Note that last line there, guys. And so a lot of people in the XRP community wondering like, duh, Elon Musk, do you not know about XRP? So is there a bigger narrative at play, is this all a show? Because I mean, come on, Elon Musk has got to know about XRP, right? All right, so this was the tweet that got the market to collapse. Uh, guys, I'm going to bring up the XRP chart real quick and uh, let you guys know that there is no need to panic. First of all, let's not forget XRP is falling in conjunction with Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance coin, about 15%, at least at the time of the recording of this video. So that is par for the course. Uh, the entire crypto market is falling. There is nothing fundamentally wrong about this cryptocurrency. Let me throw Fibonacci here on the three hour chart. Uh, so what are we seeing, guys? Coming down below the 0.382 right over here and um, we saw this low a few hours ago of about a dollar 19 for XRP buyers quickly bought up it did reach a price of a dollar 39 approximately uh, and now we're seeing a drop again uh, we are going to be at the mercy of the entire crypto market at this moment in time zooming out on the daily let's not forget this critical resistance level guys the 80 cent mark uh, that took three years for XRP to break through. So we are still nowhere near that mark there. Um, I could see reason for concern if we do go beyond this point here, uh, but right now trading at about $1.24, so no real need to worry. Again, like I said, uh, Bitcoin is in free fall, Ethereum, Binance coin, and um, XRP, correcting at about the same rate that we're seeing these other coins correct. So what else is going on? Ian Northing posting this from CNBC. Uh, so this is getting mainstream attention, guys. As much as $365 billion wiped off cryptocurrency market after Tesla stops car purchases with Bitcoin. Just the key takeaways here. Tesla CEO Elon Musk tweeted that the electric vehicle maker would suspend car purchases using Bitcoin, citing environmental concerns. So what he does not want is for people who have made money off their Bitcoin to be using their Bitcoin to purchase Teslas. Um, because he thinks, of course, 
This is an environmental problem. We do not want to be responsible for those environmentally unfriendly transactions. As much as $365.85 billion was wiped off the entire cryptocurrency market, though it did pair some losses, Bitcoin, Ether, and XRP were all sharply lower. So they are uh, clearly uh, deciding to mention uh, some of the top cryptocurrencies by market cap here, uh, which is good for XRP in a way because it is getting mentioned on CNBC. Uh, down here, Musk said Tesla will not be selling any Bitcoin and intends to use it for transactions as soon as mining transitions to more sustainable energy. So his whole thing was, look, we are not abandoning it altogether. Uh, we are just waiting. It's kind of a wait and see game at this point in time. Let's go back to the tweet for a second and also note that he says we are looking at other cryptocurrencies that use less than 1% of Bitcoin's energy per transaction. Well, of course, Brad Garlinghouse weighs in here. Let's not overthink this. Few people have changed the world the way Elon Musk has. No doubt that Bitcoin is here to stay, but denying there is a problem isn't a path to solving it. Whether it's through renewables or architectural changes, let's keep moving on the solution. So Brad, obviously uh, getting the word out here, uh, XR Planet posted this kind of an interesting observation. This kind of looks odd to me with the selection of letters. And uh, this is something else that Elon Musk apparently retweeted out. X prize. Take a look at that X there. Looks quite familiar, but um, no official connection to XRP. Thinking crypto down here saying, you know, 100% to Brad Garlinghouse's tweet. Solution is XRP, boss. This coming from straight up XRP. We all know tell him. XRP Yoda down here saying, uh, maybe you should invite Elon Musk for a chat, Brad Garlinghouse. Adam Horvath down here saying, do you really think they haven't already? And so this is what's getting a lot of people kind of confused because you would think Elon Musk would be a little bit more educated on cryptocurrency. And is it all a show? Was he just pandering to the Bitcoin maximalists to get the cryptocurrency market roaring? And now is he going to switch to something that is, in fact, more environmentally friendly? I mean, it makes sense, especially when you have a stage like Twitter and you are as influential as Elon Musk, who happens to have over 54.2 million followers. So soon after the tweet, this article came out and uh, this was shared on Twitter by El Crypto King. Uh, this from you today. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has just handed the best ad campaign to Ripple affiliated XRP cryptocurrency, according to attorney John Deaton. As reported by you today, the e-car manufacturer dropped Bitcoin payments due to environmental concerns, making the price of the flagship coin tank to just $45,700 before seeing a relief bounce. Deaton, who's spearheading the effort to insert XRP hodlers into Ripple's legal battle with the US SEC, believes that more mainstream coverage will now be devoted to sustainable cryptocurrencies. And uh, to that point here, guys, I've got John Deaton's tweet up here. Hey, Elon Musk, XRP has two things you like. It uses less than 1% of Bitcoin energy. And two, XRP hodlers are fighting against government overreach and intrusion by the SEC. There was a point in time where Elon Musk was uh, interviewed by Leslie Stahl on 60 Minutes, and it was around the time that uh, Tesla was getting some backlash from the SEC. In that clip, and I mean, it's quite a popular clip, uh, people have made memes from it. Uh, Elon Musk basically says, you know what, I do not respect the SEC for a myriad of reasons, which I'm not going to get into. So to me, it looks as though there are a lot of reasons for Elon Musk to jump on board with XRP. You say you are looking for other cryptocurrencies. This is the way. And uh, this tweet has garnered 1,723 likes from Mr. John Deaton. Uh, down here, CK Kingdom uh, actually posts the infographic comparing XRP versus Bitcoin with regards to uh, general info like uh, the ticker symbol, the year it was founded, uh, creators, use cases, the smallest unit, uh, and then the technical info transaction per second, speed per transactions, average transaction fee, consensus mechanism. But in the middle here, guys, energy consumption per year, 0.01 terawatt hours of electricity versus Bitcoin's 73.12 terawatt hours of electricity. So indeed, a fraction, less than 1% of what uh, Bitcoin utilizes. More reason to jump on the XRP bandwagon. And of course, uh, you know, especially for payments, you know, it, it really is confounding because the XRP community was saying this all along. Why doesn't Elon, I mean, he's an environmental guy. Why doesn't he jump on board the XRP train? I'm not the only one who thought that. Uh, a lot of other people here thought that as well, like drunk stepmother here on Twitter. Why did it take Elon Musk so long to learn about BTC mining? 
I'm confused. XR patients down here saying as if Elon Musk didn't know all along how inefficient, environmentally dangerous Bitcoin was, right? LOL, this entire market is a manipulated game show. The Ripple Wrestling investor says uh, he's a white hat puppet told when and where to do what needs to be done. Interesting. Teza Kaniza saying, uh, because of all of this is advertising for the new financial system, the masses are now aware and are being educated a day at a time. So they will be ready and open to mass adoption. I have a feeling that it's somewhere in and along these lines. Uh, Elon Musk, clearly very influential, not only just in cryptocurrency, but in the mainstream as well. I mean, hey, he was the host of Saturday Night Live last week. So when he talks, people listen and, um, you know, to get people excited, to get them on board with cryptocurrency, maybe he did strategically mention Bitcoin first. The whole plan all along was to, you know, accept Bitcoin, get people into the market, then turn, of course, because we know about his environmental stance. And, uh, you know, this is the basis of Tesla. So it really didn't make much sense to those in the XRP community. And uh, now it's shaking out to be an interesting story. Sven Henrik here also saying hard to believe Techno King and Master of Coin didn't know about this in February. I suspect other factors at play. Bottom line issue, renewable or not, Bitcoin is energy inefficient compared to other current or future crypto solutions. And that poses a political problem. And so could oil also be part of this narrative? Uh, I saw this guy's from William Rodriguez. People at the gas pumps today, me at home coincidentally with a Tesla sipping a glass of wine uh, compared to people at the gas pumps. Lineups, people filling up gas cans like crazy. And this happening because of this guys, record high fuel prices add to concerns about India's oil demand. So gasoline and diesel prices in India hit a new record high on Wednesday, adding another concern for the oil market about demand in the world's third largest oil importer. India is reeling from a resurgence of the beer flu with uh, mobility already restricted locally because of the pandemic. Now the high fuel prices, too high for many households, also threaten to lead the future declines in India's consumption of transportation fuels. The price uh, of the most used fuel in India, diesel, jumped on Wednesday and so did the price of gasoline for the seventh increase in prices so far in May and the third day of price hikes this week alone. Gas prices are going up, India is a large oil importer, and and, uh, you know, even if the price of gasoline might not be as high percentage wise or gone up uh, percentage wise as high in a region where you live, because, of course, importing and exporting fundamentals and taxes all have an effect on this. Uh, it is still part of a mainstream narrative that is tightly linked not only to Tesla, the company that Elon Musk has founded, but it's also tied to the environment. OK, Elon Musk saying he's looking for more environmentally friendly cryptocurrencies. So continuing on with this narrative, this global agenda, could XRP, a more environmentally friendly cryptocurrency, be on Elon Musk's radar? I mean, things just don't add up. We've got Brad Garlinghouse, of course. He's also got a lot of followers, not nearly as many as Elon Musk, uh, but he is very influential within the crypto space. There's no doubt in my mind that these guys have talked that Elon Musk knows about XRP, yet back in February, he chooses Bitcoin for Tesla payments. And here's the article, guys. Tesla buys $1.5 billion in Bitcoin, plans to accept it as a payment from February 8th, 2021. What happened to Bitcoin price at that moment in time? Well, here is February 8th, 2021. This green candlestick here and Bitcoin rally just on that news alone, about 20% about 20% on that day alone. So we can see the Elon effect in play. It doesn't make sense though, you know, as Sven is mentioning here and as a uh, drunk stepmother is mentioning here, nothing adds up. And so is there a bigger move here? Is something at play behind the scenes? Well guys, I wanted to bring you this tweet from El Crypto King. Here is a clip from a show and uh, I was wondering what this show was, and uh, I'm glad El Crypto King uh, mentioned the name of the show. It's called Startup here. Uh, I'm going to bring up the IMDb. It rates 8.0 on IMDb, which is actually a pretty good rating. Uh, and it is a crime thriller. A desperate banker, a Haitian-American gang lord, and a Cuban-American hacker are forced to work together to unwittingly create their version of the American dream, Organized Crime 2.0. And this show was around for three seasons, ending in 2018, so there are no new seasons of this. Yet look at what El Crypto King discovered in this show. I'm going to play the clip, but I'm going to keep the volume off for copyright reasons. So here's some of the dialogue. Did you know that in Saudi Arabia, a woman can't open her own bank account? In Indonesia, the instability of the rupee makes it impossible to maintain a business. But what if, what if there was a currency they all had access to? 
a currency they could call their own. A currency with no borders, free of government decree, with no threat of confiscation. Did you know 50% of the world's population, that's 3.5 billion people, don't have access to a bank account? But by 2020, almost all of them will have a cell phone. That's power. A few things here, guys, in this clip that I wanted to point out. This line here, did you know 50% of the world's population, that's 3.5 billion people, don't have access to a bank account? And I don't think I have to show you this, guys, but Banking the Unbank, obviously this from Ripple's website, FinTech is improving life for billions of people. This published back in May of 2019. Clearly one of Ripple's mandates, of course, Ripple using the XRP token. It also mentions in this clip, guys, and I will leave this in the description of the video if you guys actually want to watch the clip, but by 2020, almost all of them will have a cell phone. Now, this is an article that I showed to you guys the other day uh, when I was talking about Ashish Birla saying that uh, we have 50% of the market in India. And if you guys remember, if I go down to that quote, um, so they were wondering about how to get more business in India. That was one idea. And here's a quote from Ashish Birla. But then we realized that if you get the top three banks in India onto Ripple, you get 80% of the market share. And then we looked at where's the future. And so we realized in the next five years, keep in mind, guys, this article was from 2018, 1 billion people will become banked in India and they'll be banked through their phones. So then we started targeting mobile phone providers and telcos. This clip, I don't know what season this was from, but it was from either 2016, 2017, or 2018, uh, mentions that by the year 2020, almost all of them will have cell phones and will essentially be able to become their own bank. This program started up pondering the idea of a currency that they could call their own, a currency without borders, a currency for payments, a currency that can bank the unbanked. They also mentioned that more people will be doing their banking through their phones, and Ashish Birla in 2018, also saying that Ripple was targeting telco providers. So is this a bigger narrative at play, guys? Elon Musk rejecting Bitcoin, looking for a cryptocurrency that uses less than 1% of Bitcoin's energy? Could XRP be the cryptocurrency that he has his eyes on next? There's a very good possibility this could be the case, but that's just my opinion. I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.